Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. This is To The Point English with Ben. I'm Ben and welcome to any new viewers. Now regular viewers will know that I've made plenty of videos now on the Cambridge English exams for the B2 first, the C1 advanced, C2 proficiency and I've covered many areas from how to prepare, how long it takes to prepare, book recommendations and even what to do the day before an exam. Uh, but there's one big question that many people have asked me um, and I think it's time to make a video about it. And that question is, is it better to take the computer-based exam or the paper-based exam? And in this video I'm going to analyse that question, but for those of you who have no patience and don't want to watch a video, they just want the quick answer, the answer is computer-based exam without a doubt. But in this video I'm going to explain why I think the computer-based exam is the best option. Now obviously I've never taken a Cambridge English exam and I'm not planning to, but I've helped many people prepare and I've received a lot of feedback from different students on, on both the paper-based exam and the computer-based exam. Also I have to thank Frank, the exam expert Frank, who I interviewed a couple of months ago. You can check out the video there. Uh, he helped to explain why the computer-based exam is the best the best option. Now the first thing I must do today is address a couple of misconceptions about the computer-based exam. You can't do it at home and it's not internet-based. It's computer-based. It's not done via the internet, it's done on a computer but not connected to the internet. So yeah many people think because it's computer-based you can do it anywhere but no you must go to the exam center, your local exam center, to do the exam. Now also, I need to talk about some things which are the same, um, that both the computer-based exam and the paper-based exam have in common. And the first most important thing is that the content is the same. One exam is not easy, easier than the other, the content is exactly the same. Also, the length of the exam is the same, so the timing is the same. There's no you don't have more time in the computer-based exam or less, it's exactly the same. The marking criteria is the same, so you're not going to have any difference there. The examiners will look at the computer-based exam in exactly the same way they look at the paper-based exam. And the preparation is basically the same. You, you, all the ad advice and tips I've given in my past videos on how to prepare for the Cambridge English exams, they are all valid whether it's the paper-based exam or the computer-based exam. And finally, the speaking paper. The speaking paper is exactly the same in both paper, in both um, options. In fact, there is no computer-based option for the speaking paper. It's exactly the same. You must be in a room with an examiner and your partner and the assessor um, doing the exam in person. Okay, but now let's look at some of the differences. Um, and really, I'm just going to list, first of all, the advantages of taking the computer-based exam. Now, one of the biggest advantages is related to the listening paper. And that is, you, in the computer-based exam, you will have headphones. Now, in some paper-based exams, depending on the examination centre, you may have headphones, but usually not. Um, and it can be very difficult to hear if you're sitting, if you're unlucky to be sitting in, at the back or sitting next to someone who's rustling their papers or coughing at um, just the, the time, the, the, the moment of the answer that you're listening for. Uh, that can be a big problem in the listening paper. But in the computer-based exam, you're guaranteed to have headphones. Not only that, but you will see on the screen in the computer-based exam, in the top right-hand corner, that you have a volume control, so audio control, so you can turn the volume up or down to your preference, which again is a big advantage. You have more control of the listening in general. Another advantage that many people don't realize that they, you have in the computer-based exam is that you have a, a little screen timer at the top of the screen uh, counting down from the moment you start each paper it counts down and you can see exactly how many more minutes you have left uh, so it helps you to plan your time as you know if you've watched my previous videos the reading and use of English in particular it's very important to have good time management because you have uh, 90 minutes to do a lot of reading and a lot of question answer a lot of questions so you need to manage your time well so if you have the the minutes there ticking down it will help you another advantage you can highlight the text uh, now 
what sometimes happens in these exams, you have so much text in, in the reading paper especially, uh, you can get lost a little bit. And, but if you can just highlight the text when you're sort of going backwards and forwards between the, the text and the answers, the options you have, it can really help you organize how you approach the, the test. Uh, you don't get lost so easily. You can highlight the parts that you think are important for the, for the question. And also you can take notes on the screen. So if you think you have seen something important, but you're going to keep on reading, you don't want to forget that thing, that, that important information you have. Making a note at that moment will help you so you can go back later and it will remind you what you saw, what, what was that information that you saw that you think you thought at that time would help you. And also a big advantage for part seven, I think it is, of the reading and use of English for the advanced and part six, I think, for the C2 proficiency is a drag and drop feature. So drag and drop means you can click on a paragraph and put it into the position that you think is correct in the text. And then you can see the, the whole text um, and read through it and check that it flows and fits well. If you don't like that paragraph, then you can just replace it with another paragraph until you're happy with the paragraph you've chosen. That's a huge advantage because, again, with a paper exam, you're just going backwards and forwards, looking at the different papers that you have in front of you and your notes, and you can, you can get lost. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to interrupt this video, but I'm just editing it now. And it just occurred to me that in my enthusiasm for demonstrating all the benefits and advantages of the computer-based exam. I may have overlooked the fact that some of you may have already registered for the paper-based exam, and you may be watching this video and thinking, oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. Ben says the computer-based exam is much better, uh, much easier to pass, etc. But no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not the impression I want to give. Uh, on the balance of things, in my opinion, the computer-based exam has more advantages there are more benefits to, to taking that exam rather than the paper-based exam. But really, it, it, doesn't, it shouldn't make the difference between you passing the exam or failing the exam. There are much more important factors involved. Your preparation, your level, how well you know the exam, how, how well you get to know the format, etc. So I think I had to say that because I'm a bit worried that people will watch this video and start to panic because they're not doing the the computer-based exam. They're not going to take the computer-based exam because they've already signed up for the paper-based exam. As I said, there are much more important factors to consider than which type of exam you take. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Back to the video. Another advantage is that it's easy to navigate. Uh, you have these buttons along the bottom so you can go to any part of the paper you're on. As I've said in previous videos, you don't have to necessarily follow the order that you see in the paper. You can start at part five, which I often recommend in the reading and use of English, uh, six, seven, eight, and then four, three, two, one. Uh, but you can do it in any order you, you like with those buttons. They really help you nav navigate. It's very intuitive. You also have the advantage of accessibility being built in. So you can adjust the settings um, to suit you, to help you. So for example, the text size, you can make the text bigger. Also, you can change the color. So you can, for example, change it from the, the traditional white and black, white background with black text. You can change it to a black background with yellow text, for example. And also you can change the screen resolution just to help uh, make, maybe make it clearer for you to, to read. Now, all those advantages I've just given are sort of during the exam. Those advantages you, you see during the exam. But one advantage that you get after the exam is that you receive the results much more quickly from the computer-based exam. So you should get them within three weeks. In the paper-based exam, I think it can be up to two months. I've heard people having to wait up to two months. Now, of course, we mustn't forget that there are some advantages to taking the paper exam, the paper-based exam. Um, for example, some people are just more familiar and feel more comfortable using paper and pen. I'm, I'm one of those people, to be honest, but, but I think it's worth getting familiar, familiarizing yourself with the computer-based format because there are so many advantages. On the official Cambridge website, you have a tutorial on the computer-based exam and you can do a sample exam 
uh, which will help you get familiar with the format, how to manage, how to navigate the screen before you go into the, the exam. And so I'll link to those in the description to this video so you can get to know the, the exam a little bit better before you decide which one you're going to choose. Okay, I hope you found that useful. As I said, it doesn't really make any difference to me which exam you choose, but I do think the computer-based is the best option. So if you choose that, uh, let me know how it goes because I'd love to get some feedback. Put your experiences in the comments to help other students. Um, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care. Bye.